How many times have you been told not to fear failure as a founder? I think it's something that people are told hundreds and hundreds of times by, you know, every startup expert out there that you shouldn't fear failure. That's a really hard request for a lot of people. I think there are a couple of reasons for this. I mean, I think first and foremost, many of us go through 12 years, 16 years of being taught that failing is the worst thing we could possibly do. We're supposed to chase A's and B's, and that learning is supposed to be true learning. We've created an entire system to support that, when in reality, the true learning does tend to come from those failures, not from straight A's, not from participation trophies, but those times when you try something, take a risk, and truly fail. Those are the times when you really receive the education, really receive the learnings. And I think that's why it's become such a trope in the startup industry is that like people know they learn from failure, but it's really hard to embrace that form of learning after the way we've been raised in the educational system. I think the other part that makes embracing failure so difficult and something that's, that's hard to overcome is this kind of scarcity mindset versus, versus an abundance mindset. And by the scarcity mindset, I mean once you've achieved something, no matter how small it may seem to you, you're suddenly afraid to lose that thing. You become slightly more risk averse. So the more success you see, the more things you're able to accomplish, the more fearful you are of losing that progress you've made in some way. And you fear failing and losing those things. So while you may hear from everybody that you just need to embrace failure and take risks and that's the way you learn, I think you also have to keep in mind that it's incredibly hard to unlearn this fear of failure. So give yourself some grace, take risks where you can, and when the opportunity presents itself, for you to take a big enough risk that it may, in fact, result in failure. Just make sure you're giving yourself the opportunity to do that. Because not only will you learn from it, but you'll likely be put in a position to help somebody else learn from that failure. And maybe that little thought there helps that no matter what you achieve out of taking the risk, be it success or failure, you're learning something that you can then share with others, share with other founders, maybe provide a different perspective that all the people you're listening to don't have. Yeah, just be willing to, to take those risks when and if you can. Try to be optimistic about the potential outcomes, but also try and be realistic when failure is definitely an option. I think that's why I like so much the stories that, that founders do share about failure, not because they're true stories of failure. I mean, if these folks were really failures, we wouldn't be hearing their stories. What we're hearing is stories of resilience or survivorship, and there's, there's a lot of that survivorship bias, but still, 
I think it's important to share those stories of failure so that other founders know that pursuing a similar path can likely result in failure, although it might not. So much of this is timing and luck and many other things. So as you're thinking about failure, as you're thinking about how to embrace it, recognize that that's a very, very difficult thing to overcome, that impulse to resist failure and to actually take risks. And if you can learn to do that as a founder, you're going to learn more faster and you're likely going to see that success faster. Because it's those people who take risks, who push the envelope, who embrace opportunities that may result in failure, those are the folks who truly win.